Hi, this video will be about famous Russian watch movement and it will be a symbol of a Vostok movement 2416B which you can find in Vostok Amphibia. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Okay, I'm starting the whole assembly with the mainspring and the mainspring barrel. So the mainspring is already in the barrel and the Vostok movement, the automatic Vostok movement has some small differences between the manual winded version and the automatic version. And here is the first difference we have here some kind of regulation or adjustment of the crown wheel. The crown wheel is sitting on some kind of tube, so we have to put it from the back side and here a little bit oil, like always. And here comes the crown wheel. We have here also some washer. And the screw is of course left threaded screw. Okay. The barrel bridge is ready, one thing is still missing, so works this crown wheel, one thing is still missing, it's this spring here. Anyway, if you are watching first time Ticking Watch and you like this type of content, subscribe, because now can be a very good moment. And if you subscribe, you will get a notification every time when I upload new content. Okay, and now I'm going on with the assembly. Here is nothing uh, different comparing to other watches, especially to Soviet watches or traditional watches. Like always, we have to oil some points, the pivots, the wheels, and we have to put over the wheels a bridge, like I'm doing this now. This is the barrel bridge. Now all these screws to secure the bridge. Now the click from the ratchet wheel. That's the click. Now the train wheel, so this is the escape wheel. And here I'm making a small mistake. I'm curious if you know what kind of mistake it is. I forgot here one wheel. Of course, I will discover this a little bit later. But first, yeah, I'm installing here the train wheel bridge. Okay. This is always a very delicate operation and needs your concentration not to uh, damage the wheels or the pivots so please do not rush here 
and be sure that all pivots are in its bearings. Only secure the bridge with one screw. Now the ratchet wheel. So did you guess what I forget? If you know, write in the comment section. Now the sweep second pinion. Here is a solution that I personally don't like. But yeah, so it is. And it works, so anyway. It's not the problem with this tension spring. The same solution you can find in Miyota, in Orient movements, so in many Chinese seagull movements, so in Minju movement, so it is pretty common. But this construction, this solution is some kind of saving costs. Okay, oiling, that's very important. Only the screw left. And here are the wheels from the automatic complication, winding complication. And one of these wheels I forgot to put because it goes here under the train wheel bridge. So I have to take off the bridge, the train wheel bridge, install this wheel, again adjust all the train wheels because some pivots came out from the bearings. And of course on the end, secure the bridge. The other wheels you can install when this train wheel bridge is already there, so this is not the problem. Here comes one intermediate wheel. Because of this solution, the whole movement is pretty thick comparing for example with ETA or with Miyota this one is really thick but it it's working and it's a workhorse the solution comes I know from the 70s maybe and is still used till today one thing about Vostok movements they are maybe not the most uh, modern movements, they didn't develop during the years very much. Maybe they change only some materials, but the power reserve didn't change a lot, it's still about 30-40 hours. Comparing for example with ETA that develop really really great. So today Powermatic have 80 hour power reserve. The movement is thin, they use very modern materials like silicon, hair spring and probably others that I even don't know. Let's start working now on the Dale side. But anyway the Vostok maybe isn't the most modern movement. It is probably one of the most durable and reliable movement that is today installed in watches, in me mechanical watches, and one with a very rich history. Although, in my opinion, Vostok can make some changes, for example, quick date set feature. They still don't have it. Ok, 
Okay, now the winding pinion, so I will work now on the killer's work. Of course, some grease. Some very, very thick oil. The clutch. And here is the little bit weird winding stem from Vostok Amphibia. Anyway, if you have more Vostok watches and if you have one stem, for example, from manual winded watches, for, from standard watches, not uh, this one with the screw down crown, it is good during the assembly to use this winding stem, not the original winding stem uh, from the Vostok or from the watches that have screw down crown. Okay. Here are the wheels and I will also have some issue with these wheels so if you are curious stay tuned. And the killer's work is almost finished. Only the setting lever spring left. It is holded by three screws. Here some method, if you have shaking hands you can support your screwdriver with the tweezers, it really helps, especially when you are screwing very small screws. Ok, now the date complication and its wheels. Also oiling the screw which is here in the center of this wheel that will change the date. This is the date day. Here we have also some lever, some adjustment lever, and covering plate. The only thing that is missing is a spring. This one I will install in a moment. First the screw, here are also three screws that are holding the whole plate. And that's the spring. It's very easy to install it in this way. I don't know if this is the right way, but I think it is the easiest way. Okay, date tail turns freely, and here oiling the balance stone. And because I'm oiling, I have to oil also the pellet fork. 
it's not the perfect oiling here but as I mentioned the Russian movements are pretty resistant so should be okay only the installing only the installation pallet cock or pallet bridge I like the name pallet bridge and here it seems it is working but I'm not really happy with the work so okay let's install the balance and we will see it's not the best installation that I made in my life nothing is damaged so it's okay here is only a distance plate which comes between the main plate and the balance bridge or balance cog okay it seems to work but still I know something is wrong here something is blocking the wheels The balance don't want to work and it should in this position so and here is the problem here is the issue the minute wheel and the setting wheel are not turning and when I have loosened the screw now they are turning so something is wrong here but my solution here will be I will just lose a bit now it's not turning so I will turn about half the screw and that's it and so leave it probably some problem with the construction and to fix it you have to probably tamper with the main plate so I won't do this and here is the balance stone and the shock spring from the balance this is the way how I'm installing it it's not very difficult needs some praxis and it's not the worst way not the worst spring of course Inca block are much more convenient here came up that the balance bridge still needs some distance plates and yeah we are on the end of this video so if you would like to see my other videos about watch movement assembly see the playlist in the description down below thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new and it was beneficial to you I hope to see you in my next episode, which will be about modding of a Vostok amphibia. Thank you for watching and see you next time.